So just tell us a little bit about yourself. Okay, well, Fashion Abbey, as I just said, that's my name. Um, I've been in fashion for a very long time. Style um, is something that I've always wanted to do full time, and it looks like now I may finally have that opportunity. So my history uh, is really in real estate. I've played around with uh, pre-law, contemplated law school, played around with the LSAT, and it just wasn't for me. This is where my heart is. You're an artist. You're an artist. So what is Thank art? You, my what, what is art to you? How do you explain it? Art to me is the manifestation of a person's desire to show what their true core heart is about. That's my definition of art. It's it's subjective. So uh, art is the piece of you that taps inside for you to express what you truly represent, and you cannot get that manifestation in doing things that's not within an art artistic realm. And my personal opinion, art exceeds or extends into different different areas, whether we were talking about earlier, whether yes, it's music, that's right. you know, whether it's garments, you know, whether it's paintings, whether it's curating pieces or repurposing objects, uh, collecting vintage pieces, right. to me it's all a form of art, man. So, this place is awesome. Yeah. So we'll talk about a little bit about how we were just talking about the energy. Mm -hmm. And so when we talk about how art um, changes people's environment and change, change them, talk about the energy that uh, a, a location, even at, at a pop-up mm -hmm. like this brings to Newark. Wow. I mean, I... I'm going to try to keep it short. I can spend oh, no, the next. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm, I'm saying rhetorically. I'm saying rhetorically. I can oh, no. tell you the next two hours. No. Yeah. You can go philosophical. Yeah, yeah. Okay, too. yeah. I'm anyway, just going to oh, go ahead. Go. So, um, let, let me say this. Uh, you know, the outcome has far exceeded what we expected. That's what's up. That's when what's up. we went in with the pop shop idea, we thought we'd make a couple of bucks. Um, everyone would sell something here and there, and people come in and say, hey, it's nice and cool, and then that would probably be the extent of it. But that's far from what happened here. So many like different faces, mm -hmm. so many different talents, uh, different gender, different age groups came out to show support. You know, we put in uh, vintage trunks, collectible tennis courts, uh, uh, vintage World War II boots, uh, Rocky Marciano vintage pictures and trunks and uh, I'm Titanic gonna do, I'm going to have to do B-roll to yeah, show. Yeah, he's going to have to show all of that. And my point of... of of really mentioning this is that ironically we have it on a window that's actually very vintage in age um, you know compared to conventional storefronts you know they're clean windows things are situated with contemporary pieces but the outcome has been absolutely outstanding uh, one gentleman told me as he was walking by this picture that we cannot see right now pulled them in side of the store I have a little small picture of uh, Rock Marciano fighting mm -hmm. another opponent um, so the, people just came out. Social media is a magnet for getting support, as we know. And I didn't think that the number of people would come out to show the support. It's, it's been it's been outstanding. I love outstanding. that. Now, um, the series that I'm doing is The Artist Recreates the World. Right. So now what you're talking about is you're really supporting the, the series because what you're saying is that you're not doing what the malls are doing. You're not doing what right. corporate America is, is That's doing. That's correct. Mm -hmm. You're making it personal mm -hmm. where we can come in and touch. Then we have a person like you that has knowledge and insight. And the energy is so different. See, that's mm -hmm. the thing. The energy creates a buzz mm -hmm. that um, makes shopping truly an experience. That's right. That's and that's right. what the artist, to me, brings to this element of fashion. Mm -hmm. They make it a, an experience again and not where it's just rope, where I go, I don't want to name no corporate um, brands, but right, right, where I, I go to this store <laughs> and, and, and I, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I look like everybody else. Right. But when I come in, there's a feeling. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm going to come back here anytime that you open again. I appreciate it, my brother. Because even if I lot. have money, it's still a conversation. And, and right, who knows, right. I want who to knows who, second will, home. I, who knows I, who I will meet. That's right. That's like the young right. ladies that just went out of here. Yeah, I don't know anything about that, but uh, we can talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that kind of caught us off guard. Uh, certainly, there was something there. Uh, but let me let me just echo what you're saying. Um, you're absolutely right. I wanted to create an environment where it feels like second home to you know folks who feel like they're part of that synergy. That's the artist. You know, that's the artist, man. You know, creating a second home, a synergy for artists to come together. And we, you know, I just described what made 
be defined as artist. It's, it's subjective. It doesn't matter what part uh, contribution you make. You got it. But That's you're right. in the family of it. So right. you mentioned something that was pretty interesting. We're within uh, 